um, we're talking primarily about plants right now, but what about animals? Uh -huh. Do you find any of the same patterns in animals too? It's it's interesting. When we had finished the book, our editor said exactly this, that question, mm. you know. What about animals? You should put a, a chapter about <laughs> animals. So we, we <laughs> racked our brains and, and thought, okay, so what, what, what do we know about that? And then I remembered that Jacques, the, the biologist, had made wonderful microscopic images of eyes of flies and that they, they exhibit, you know, very regular arrangements and, but they don't exhibit Fibonacci. However, they exhibit the same kind of fronts because apparently the, the little cells, you know, the many hundreds of cells that form the eye of a, of a fly uh, are formed in fronts that, that progress through the eye. And so the, you see the same kind of transitions or geometric transitions that we see. And, but because the fronts go transversally to the eye and not concentrically to the eye of the, 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 the fly, you don't see the spiral patterns that you see in um, plants. Fibonacci doesn't make any sense in this case. But nonetheless, you know, the, the very uh, basic geometric uh, elements are there.